hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a home organization video i'm standing in my master bathroom and this is the area that i chose to tackle first as far as home organization is concerned and i chose this area to do first for organization because it's where my day starts and where my day ends guys i'm not gonna lie this is a project that sort of stressed me out just because the project took a few weeks to complete and it took a while to complete just because i wanted to measure everything and map out where everything was going to go and research what products i wanted to use to store everything and to organize everything and if you're a busy person like I am, you're probably going to see this video and say, yeah, I don't have time for that because there are times in this process where I was like, yeah, I don't have time for that. But it's an investment. It really is. It's an investment in your time and you can get so much time back being able to place your finger on things at a moment's notice. And I just gained so much peace and mental clarity to know that everything has a place and everything is in its place. So, um, without me rambling further we're just gonna jump right in okay so now i want to talk to you all a little bit about the process that i went through to organize i began with taking everything out of my cabinets and doing a really good purge for whatever reason it just brings me so much peace to throw things away or donate them if i know i have absolutely no use for them comment below if you feel that way too after I had everything purged, I knew exactly the products that I would be organizing. So I began to make groups. I put all the hair products in one little group and the body products in another group and the face products in their own separate areas. You get the gist. And just began to sort of group things in the way that I would want to store them or the way that I would think to go and look for things. And then I just use these little white bins that I used in my former master bathroom to organize them in um, in case I had to come to a stopping point for the day. And then I started to build out my cabinet. I will say that I highly suggest measuring underneath your cabinet space before you buy anything or commit to any products because that's going to let you know exactly what you can do in terms of how much you can store down there. I came across a system called the Like It Modular System and I really like it, no pun intended. This system like really allowed me to maximize my under cabinet storage space even like while going around the plumbing. So that was really important to me to make sure that I can get a lot under the sink. So on the right side, I've got an 11 inch tall drawer that houses all of my hair care products, my shampoos, styling products and conditioners. And then on top of that, I just stacked a eight inch tall bin right on top of it because that's what would fit in terms of how high my cabinet goes. And in that drawer, I decided to put all my skincare in there on the left side i had to switch it up i couldn't stack as high because of the plumbing underneath the sink so i got the i think this is the six inch high by um, 17 drawer and i used it to house my body oils and body scrubs and bath salts and stuff and then i just stacked a little transparent bin on top to store my hair clips and hair pins in the little hair ties or scrunchies, whatever you call them. Comment below if you also feel like you lose them every time. So I feel like having them here and having a dedicated place 
hair ties is really gonna help me cut down on losing them. So they call these little bins the Like It Bricks and they're just translucent baskets to store things in. And they also have dividers that clip into the little holes on the sides so that you can divide things up within them. So I thought it was pretty cool. I took a bigger one and used it in the middle towards the front to store my combs and my brushes and my spray bottle. Um, I'll probably put my bonnet in there during the daytime. Um, and I thought that that was perfect. And then in the back, I just have this little reach in clear container from the container store. Um, just to put my irons and my blow dryer and everything. I don't really use these items a ton, so that's the perfect spot for them. Plus, they're not too hard to access. Um, and since I'm natural, I mean, they'll probably be back there a lot of the time anyway. So, um, that's what I did with that side. And once I had my side built out, the measurements weren't off at all for my husband's side. So, I just kind of mirrored the same thing on his side. Granted, he has a lot less toiletries and beauty products than what I do, but I just kind of like a more uniform look. So on his, I just put um, some of the hair products that he and my sons use on the bottom left-hand corner. And I use that little Like It Brick to house some contacts and contact solution and glasses and then in the middle I use this for kind of like household products like mouthwash and little first aid stuff like sunscreen and um, bug repellent and then on the other side the right side the top drawer has random toiletries that he has and then the bottom is sort of a catch-all um, I'll probably just use this for hand soap refill and some cleaning products that we like to always have on hand in the bathroom. We keep most of our other cleaning products in a different place in our house, so that's another video. Moving on to the drawers in the middle, I knew that the top drawers, I wanted to have those be pretty much what we use every morning and every night. So on my side, I'm really excited about the products that I found. But on my side, I found these really cool expandable, I want to say like, I want to call them like a riser thing. It's by that Home Edit collaboration with Container Store. I thought this was really cool for my skincare products to be on here. The ones that I use just every day and I put these up top. In the back, I just use an acrylic drawer organizer to store my toothpaste and a couple of moisturizers that I really like and wanna have on hand. And then I just threw my razors and um, my face razors on the side of that. So I feel like I really did a really good job with utilizing this space. And then on my husband's side, like I told y'all, he just wants to make sure he smells good and is not ashy. So it's pretty basic. I use this one drawer organizer. This drawer organizer is expandable as well and it pretty much just housed his toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, and you know, his stuff. The second drawer underneath his is for just a catch-all for refills and we also use this drawer to store the products that the twins use when they bathe in here. We all know how that goes. You have a space that's dedicated for you and your kids come and take it over. So one day this bathroom will solely be ours, but that day is not today. Moving on to the next drawer underneath. I don't have anything in there. I did such a good job with organizing this bathroom to the point where I have extra space to grow into it and the next two drawers. Okay, so these are the drawers where I just pretty much was like, I am done with this. I don't have time for it. Just because I had to keep going back and forth to the container store and I really didn't get a whole 
glimpse of like what my inventory looked like, what products would fit and what organizer. So it was just a big to do and a big mess. But let me show you what I did. So for this drawer, I found these rectangular containers at the container store. And I thought that these were really cool because I could do a lot with them. I thought they would be really good for my blushes, my singular eyeshadows and my lip products. And then for my lipsticks that I wanted to stand up, I just got this little lipstick holder and squeezed it between there. And in the back, I have um, that same rectangular container that has two sides to it. And I just have my loose powders and primers and then um, standing up in the back. Back there, I just have some concealers and over on the right side, I have my foundations that I use. And then in the middle, I just thought I could just throw my little brush cleaner right there. So that's it for that drawer. Then with this drawer, I kind of used that clear container that I just had on hand. I think I got those from like five below, the clear container back there. And I used it for like back stock of products, the products that I haven't really opened yet that I've been meaning to try. And um, I used this little divider thing. It's for your palettes and it stands them up perfectly. It's acrylic. And so I just used this little divider thing for um, my palette. And then over here on the side, I have these little three cups that I've had. I didn't go out and purchase them specially for this particular process. They're just these three cups that I've had. But yeah, they're just these three little cups that I had and I just use them to store my makeup brushes. And that's pretty much it for this drawer. Okay, so I really wanted to continue the organization theme in the open parts of the bathroom as well. So this is the part of the process where my husband's like, okay, you're really doing too much now. But the truth is it really kind of stresses me out to see the different bottles and containers in the shower. They're all different shapes and sizes. So I went to Amazon and I got these little bottles with pumps on them um, just to put our shower stuff in. And what's really cool is I like the Honey Pot um, Feminine Wash. And I was able to find this pump that allows you to use your foaming products as well. And it matches with the bathroom. And I thought that was really cute, so I just like that. So I just switched out all of our products that we use in the shower into these containers and they look uniform and I like it. And yeah, I don't have anxiety when I look at it anymore, so. So I'm standing in our water closet or our toilet room and really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys what I did as far as organization is concerned in here. Um, I just put some feminine items and toilet paper down on the bottom shelf. And again, I use those Like It bricks um, down there to store them in. And I also have a few towels and a few sheets on the top two shelves. Um, the idea of this cabinet is to have a few things on hand in case we didn't want to leave the room. And when it comes to the bottom shelf, we didn't want to leave this area right here. So um, yeah, I just wanted to have a few things on hand um, that's close to us. We have a bigger linen closet in the main hallway, but the idea is to have a few on hand in here so we don't have to leave. So after I was finished organizing everything, I wanted to label everything so that I can know where everything is. Um, mainly so my husband can know where everything is. I can remember what I did with stuff, but you know how that goes. So I got these little labels from the container store. Um, as you can see, they're on clearance. So um, when I link everything below, if I cannot find these to link below, I will go ahead and link something similar to it. 
Um, this is one of the products by the Home Edit as well. But um, yeah, I just got these and I use them to organize everything. Okay, everybody, that concludes my Master Bathroom Organization video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And if you have any tricks and tips on how I can make it better or things that I can try, be sure to comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.